In this video, I'm going to share five Canva time-saving tips that I truly wish I would have known earlier. Hello, and welcome back to Canva Corner. I'm Matt with WBNL Coaching, and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. So let's get to work. Number one, copy and paste. Okay, number one, and probably a no-brainer for most people, but just in case you didn't know this, because it hasn't always been a feature in Canva, you can easily now copy and paste from within a design that you already have going here or between different designs you have actually in your Canva portfolio. So let's say in this particular example, I'm going to take out this icon, and I like the icon I have down here on another version. I am going to simply copy and paste. And that's all there is to it, super easy. Number two, how to use guides and rulers. Using guides and rulers within your design allows you to just make sure that all of your elements are where you want them to be and that they are aligned in the right positions. To actually add the guides and rulers, you go up to file and you can click show rulers, which adds it across the top. And file, show guides, which will throw your guides in along the side here. The guides and the rulers are set up as a default into pixel size. If you wanna change that, go up here to resize and you have the choice of inches, millimeters, or centimeters. So let's say we wanna change it to inches, click on inches, make sure that box is checked and hit resize. What will that, that will actually do? It will, it will resize your document to whatever that is here, but it will also change your rulers and your guides. To actually bring your guides and your rulers into your design, you just simply go over, tap on the guide, bring it on over to wherever you want it to go. Let's say right here. You do the same thing for the ruler. You can bring it on down wherever you want that to lay as well. Now, in this particular example, now I can go in and I can line up all of my little lines here. So this one obviously is not in the right place. So let's move it over here to this guide. Let's move this little baby right over here to that guide. That one looks fine. So. There we are. Super easy way to use your guides and your rulers. You want to get them out of the way. You simply just move, it on, move them on back. If you want to have more than one guide out at a time, you just simply have to pull more down. You can actually literally put as many of them in as you want. Super easy and really helpful when you want to make sure that everything is in alignment. Number three, building your brand kit. This one is for Canva Pro users, but if you have this, one of the first things you do inside the program when you actually sign on is to set up your brand kit. If you don't know how to use a brand kit, go up to the icon above. I did a video on this not too long ago, how to set your brand kit up in Canva. Easy peasy, it's super, super easy peasy to do, so check that video out. But if you have your brand kit set up, you can change colors on the fly no matter where you are. It makes all your designs very consistent. It makes it easier to go in so you're not always hunting for whatever those colors are. So if I want to change this green here, I go up into the color palette. Your brand kit colors will lie right up here into um, your color choices here. If you have several different brand kits set up, which I do, you can scroll between the different uh, brand kits you have set up easily and that will change the palette that's located over here in your design. But this design work will be for this particular color palette that I have set up. I'm going to change this green over to, oh, let's just change it to that maroon. It just keeps all of your designs nice and consistent with the brand. It makes it super easy, a total time saver. So you're not running around looking for hex codes or RGBs. Number four, tidy up. This is one of my favorite features in Canva and uh, it really helps you to at the end refine your alignment within your design so you can see these four text boxes actually are uh, looking great but they are clearly not uh, spaced correctly on the page and i want them to be kind of around the same uh you know width and stuff as the the arrows over here to the the left so i'm going to just kind of bring these and just kind of eyeball it a little bit here bring these kind of where i want them to be basically Let's see, that one looks okay. So let's just do this. So if you click on all four of the uh, items here, you go up to position and we're going to click a line or space evenly vertically. Um, it will actually put those spaces right in there. And that actually looks pretty close to where I want it to be here compared to my arrow. So that worked out pretty easily, but you can play around with it and do some adjusting here and there uh, to make sure that you have all the, the, the right alignment. You can use this on text boxes, uh, any sort of element within the, um, the design. All you have to do is just simply highlight it. 
Number five, a bunch of Canva shortcuts. And then of course, one of the best time saving tips for you to use when you're doing your design is to do Canva shortcuts. There's several of them out there. I'm gonna show you a list here that actually they have put together an infographic that actually shows what they are and there'll be a link to that in the description below. Uh, but just a couple of the things that I use all the all the time, I mean all the time, is I, if I don't add a line to the design, all you have to do is type in the letter L and a line will appear and then you can go up and you can change the color of the line. You can change the the line weight if you want to. You can change what the end looks like, either square or round or dotted or polka dotted or whatever. You can put arrows on the end of it and you can even animate the line as well. So just by typing in L, not even any commands, just L, that will come up. If you uh, type a C, a C is gonna bring up a circle. <laughs> It's easy peasy, super, super simple. If you wanna add a box to your design, you just type in an R. A simple R is gonna bring in a box. It's gonna bring in a rectangle because uh, um, you can actually bring your rectangle down and make it a square. Those are just three of the Canvas shortcuts that I use. There's a lot of other ones out there available and Canvas put together a shortcut infographic for you. Um, so you can find them all in one handy place. And I will put a link to this infographic down in the description below. Uh, but you can see it's broken into a couple different parts here, moving elements around, uh, different things you can do with text, and then a bunch of other just useful shortcuts that you can use as you're just learning to design. I, I you know, it's funny, I was never one um, ever to use a lot of keystrokes and, and shortcuts in my design work. However, I have to say that once you kind of get used to doing these, it sure does make your design work a lot easier and much, much more efficient, especially if you're going to Canva a lot like I am. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your ideas on how to save even more time when designing in Canva, just leave a comment below. At WBNL Coaching, we are always adding new courses and downloads, and we invite you to go explore it on our website. I've included a few links in the description below, including a link to the branding checklist that I mentioned earlier, and a link to all of our freebies located on WBNLCoaching.com. If you like what you heard today, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. See you next time in the Canva Corner.